Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the floor. Thank you for the opportunity to, to be here. And uh, in my speech, I would like to present uh, the, the first the Communities University, my alma mater, but especially from the uh, perspective of uh, international education and uh, cultural diplomacy. Uh, you have had many definitions of what does it mean, cultural diplomacy, uh, but uh, from our perspective, in our opinion, uh, probably the best way to promote uh, cultural diplomacy is uh, through the younger generation. I would like to present not only the uh, international uh, program like Erasmus, of course, were very successful also in this domain. I will present some numbers very briefly. And, uh, but also uh, in the domain of research, we are very active and we have many international agreements with uh, the universities or the institutions in the countries of the European Union, but also with uh, the countries outside uh, the European Union. So it is not the objective, uh, it is not the goal of my speech today to go into the complex study of the meaning uh, uh, attached to many terms related to cultural diplomacy. As I said, I would like to provide an overview of strategies for internationalization of higher education from the perspective of uh, Komenius University in Bratislava, Slovakia. It is the main. I can start with uh, uh, the words uh, from uh, Federico Mayo Zaragoza, former Director General of UNESCO, who once said that the university is an institution in which the production, transmission, and reproduction of culture meet harmoniously and in which the latter are completed by reflection on the role and the function of culture in the life of nations and individuals. And that the cultural function of the university goes, goes hand in hand not only with its humanistic search, but also with its international dimension. Uh, let me inform you very briefly uh, about the history, about the Comenius University. Uh, we are the oldest, uh, the biggest, and I would like to add to proud and also the best university in the Slovak. Republic. We started in uh, 1919 and uh, Komenis University has followed the university tradition of the Academia Istropolitana, which was established in Bratislava by Matthias Corvinus, the Hungarian king in 1465. The first faculty was the Faculty of Management, uh, Medicine, excuse me. The Faculty of Medicine opened in 1919 and two years later was uh, followed by the faculties of law and philosophy. So this is the main building of uh, the Kalenis University located in the center of the city, uh, city of Bratislava. And this building is the rectorate of the university and also the faculty of law, part and partly the faculty of philosophy. Uh, I think it is not necessary to introduce who was uh, John Amos Komenius in Slovak language, Jan Amos Komensky. Komenius was a Czech-speaking Moravian teacher, educator, and writer. So we decided that uh, on leave by the Czechoslovak government, government uh, in 1919 decided to give the name of Komenius, the Komenius, the hour 
her alma mater took over uh, the name of Khomeini's, was the Khomeini's University in Bratislava, Slovakia. We have uh, altogether 30 faculties uh, with around 28,000 students at all three bachelor, master, and PhD levels of study, of which uh, approximately 21,000 are full time students. We are very proud that, proud that we have uh, up to 10% students from different foreign countries, from uh, almost uh, 80 countries, not only from, as I said, not only from European. Union countries, but also from Asia, from America, from Africa, and so on, and so on, and so on. So, 30 faculties uh, covering so-called classical disciplines from natural sciences and medicine to humanities and social sciences, but we do not have uh, engineering. In Bratislava is located so a technical university, for example, and they have faculties which cover engineering, so once more, we are so-called classical university. Uh, we have approximately 700 study programs in bachelor, master, and PhD study. We are completely compatible with the European higher education area. We introduced the ECTS. We have quality insurance, so we are very happy that we can work together with many international universities and in, uh, institutions. We have uh, 2,600 PhD students, uh, and uh, approximately 10% of them are from foreign countries, and these 2,600 PhD students uh, repre does represent more as 20% of all PhD students in Slovakia. <coughs> Uh, we have also a lifelong learning program, and there are nearly 5,000 uh, students uh, which are involved in this program. We have also a special uh, activity, a special organization <coughs> called Children or Kids University, which we organize during the summer peri period, and this event is for children between 10 and 15 years of the age from Slovakia, also from so different uh, foreign countries located around close to Bratislava. We have also research, of course, as the university is absolutely must for us, and uh, we are uh, active in uh, many centers of excellence. We, are, we do work uh, on, the, on, on hundreds of national and and international science projects. Our research priorities are here in uh, molecular medicine, environmental medicine, substitute challenges, material research area and nanotechnologies, information communication technologies, and sustainable energetics and energies. Uh, very briefly to the uh, research and strategic goals of Comenius University. Uh, we are completely integrated and very, very active in the EU framework programs. Uh, we have uh, approximately 70, 70 uh, such projects in 2013. We started the activities within our scientific park. We have four competence centers, 23 centers of excellence, and uh, we are also active in the cooperation in the industry. At the moment, we have 26 such projects. Uh, concerning the research activities outcomes, uh, in 2012, we have had 760 papers in current content. And uh, in uh, ESI, Essential Scientific Indicators, in 2012, we have had 6,300 papers. We have also uh, so-called joint degree programs, especially with the University of Vienna, and also the Technical University of Vienna. As you know, Bratislava is approximately 60 kilometers 
from Vienna, so that's uh, probably also the reason why we have a very excellent, very cute, and very intensive cooperation with the Austrian universities, especially with the universities which are located in Vienna. Uh, our internationalization process take place, or processes take place in uh, bilateral cooperation agreements. We are member in international university organizations and networks. We do particip participate in international educational and research programs and projects. We are very active in the mobility of students, not, on, not only within the mobility of the students, but also within the mobil mobility of teachers and mobility of staff. And we have many international cooperation, cooperation and collaboration on the different levels, on the level of university, on the level of individual faculties, institutes, departments, and on the individual levels. Altogether, on the level of rectorate, on the level of uh, Comenius University, we have uh, 56 international agreements with the universities which are located in new countries in the USA. For example, we have a active cooperation with the University of Dallas, uh, University of Pittsburgh, University of Southern Florida, located in Fort Lauderdale, and so on and so on. On the faculty, on the level of individual, on the level of faculties, we have uh, approximately 80 international agreements. We have 507. Uh, 570 bilateral Erasmus agreements, and this academic year, respectively this winter semester, during this winter semester, uh, 650 students from this university uh, moved to uh, other universities located in new countries and uh, in uh, faculties on the structure from this university moved approximately into the structure of 270 students during this uh, winter semester. But also the teacher are active and in out mobility within the Erasmus program during winter semester, 100 teachers uh, are or will visited our alternate universities, which we have within this uh, Erasmus program approximately 80, uh, 80 colleagues came to Comenius University with the Erasmus Teacher Mobility Program. We are members of uh, many uh, international networks uh, like the European University Association, then uh, UNICA, which is a network of universities from the capitals of Europe, Utrecht Network, Danube Rectors Conference, and we are very proud that we decide also to join ASEA United Network, which is the network of universities from Europe and from South universities from South Asia. Uh, life, concerning the life of learning program, many was said yesterday, but uh, only a few words, uh, especially from the perspective, from the point of view of Comenius University. Uh, we have had uh, during uh, the five, 15 years history, 15 years of Erasmus, Erasmus at Comenius University, as you can see from this table here. Uh, starting from the academic year 1998-1999 until academic year 2012-2013, up to 8,000 people moved from Comenius University would use the opportunity to go out, students, teachers, and staff, and also, the students from varying countries and teachers and staff from varying countries decide to come to, to visit within the Erasmus program at Communist University once more, which is approximately 8,000 during this 15 years history of Erasmus at Communist University. But we have also, as I mentioned before, the Center of, for Continuing Education at Communist University in Bratislava, which uh, do operate as the educational institution and which do provide, uh, does provide a wide range of educational programs focused on professional and personal growth. The center is divided into three, three units. 
unit for lifelong learning and unit for language and fluid productive studies in the study of Congress Center. Uh, so, uh, for example, the Center for Continuing Education uh, in the previous academic year, 2012-2013, we have had more than 800 participants, not only from Slovakia, but also from Croatia, Austria, Poland, Romania, Serbia, Hungary, and Ukraine. Uh, the mission of the University of the Third Age, which is located also in the structure of Communist University, is to improve the quality of life for senior citizens through the implementation of lifelong learning programs in today's society. So this center was uh, established in 1990. We started with total number of 200 students, and currently, during this academic year, we have 37 study programs for almost 2,000 students. Uh, we have also the unit for language and preparatory studies, or Fernandes and Compatriots, which does provide lessons in the Slovak language and academic subjects to students. To students foreigners and compatriots. And uh, uh, in the academic year 2012-2013, we provided uh, with the instruction 340 participants from 25 countries. And altogether, more than 15,000 students were involved in the program since 1960. Very popular is the Studia Academica Slovak of the Center for the Slovak as a foreign language which is a special center of the Faculty of the Communist University. Altogether, we have had approximately 6,000 foreign alumni interested in Slavic language. I will close my presentation with a concrete example uh, where we have seen that the international registration and education research is in the table. I will take as an example our Faculty of Medicine, which is uh, medicine which is located in the city of Martin, which is a city in the northern part of Slovakia with approximately 60,000 uh, inhabitants. And uh, very popular is uh, this Faculty of Medicine by the students from Norway. As you know, Norway uh, has become known as one of Europe's most distant examples of an open society based on mutual tolerance and multicultural culturalism. And uh, in Martin, in the Faculty of Medicine at Communist University, we have approximately yearly 400 young students from our uh, three study medicine to the Eusebius Faculty. And it is very interesting, and we are very proud that also the character of the present the students from Norway, but not only from Norway, which are studying with the Senius Faculty of Medicine, uh, helped, helped to change a little bit the character of the city. Once more, it is a small city with 60,000 60, inhabitants, and uh, the relationship between students from Norway, of international students, and the communities of the community of Martin, especially uh, in the, um, the Senius Faculty of Medicine, is a very important topic, is a co topic of considerable importance. So, it is clear that uh, international cooperation, educational diplomacy, is very, very important not only for Khomeini's university, not for our faculties, but I'm sure that also for, every, for everybody for each university, for each, for each institution, it's a very important point, especially during this period of, of accelerated global connectivity. Thank you for the attention.